Hi, this is Jason from Effective Maintenance Dashboards and welcome back to another video. In this video, it will be a, a relatively quick one and I just want to show you something that will help you as you develop your dashboards and that is a version history table. So if you've been following along with some of the videos that I've been creating, you'll notice that often I've been using this, um, this dashboard here, which is a backlog analysis dashboard. And every time I save it to make an update, I create a new version, hist a new, a new copy. Now you might want to keep that version history in a specific, or the, the details of these updates, particularly if you've got a production report that you're using and you want to, um, you want to ensure that you've got some management of change around the, the dashboard. You might want to keep a version history and you can actually keep that details within Power BI and it's relatively straightforward. So what we need to do is click on this button here, go to the home menu and click on enter data. We're going to create a table and that table is going to be where we're going to store our version history. So this allows you to create a table in Power BI with your own data. And we're going to call this one, we're going to add some columns in here. So we're going to call that version date details. Uh, published by and location. So you can't put other fields or less fields, but these are these are quite useful. So you've got a version, you've got the date that it was published, you've got some of the details uh, that explain what changes were made to this version, who published it, and if you are going to store a backup, you can you can put a location, a file path in here. So then we'll go in here and we'll call this one version history. And I'll edit this first. And the reason is that I want to make sure if we go in here that this date is actually a date. So we'll click on here and we'll change that to date place current and then we will load that. Now it's an empty table at this point in time but you'll see that a new version history table will appear here and there it is. Okay so it doesn't have any content in it just now. So how do we put content in? Well we could have put the content in when we created it however I did want to show you how you go and change that content because it's not very obvious. What you need to do is go back into transform data and if you go to the version history you then click on the source and then just double click on this cog and then you can start to put the version history in. So we'll call this one version 1 and the date was, let's just say, the 1st of the 1st, 2020, initial report. Okay, so I've just stepped ahead here, paused the video, and then I've entered the data, and you can see that I've entered just, just some basic, some basic history here. So now I'm going to click on OK and that's going to load that in and then we can close and that will close my client and that will update the details in here. So now we've got version history. Now what you can do is if, if you're happy enough just to view that version history through this option here then that's great. You can go and view your version history by just clicking on the option here to look at the data. However, you can also add a table, so uh, add a report. So let's call this version history and then simply pull in a table and then just add in the columns. And you are then free to format this how you see fit. Let's put the version at the top here. And 
and we will move this along and update the colors just we don't really need to update the colors just now I think it's not good forget who it is You can see the, the details here. So we've got the version, we've got the date, we've got the details. You can make that as big as small. You've got a location, and then you've got the who it was published by. You can add a header and whatever other details you want. Now, if you don't want to see this version history as a, a table in here, which I would probably recommend because you don't want really to, it's not something you're going to use every day. You're not going to pull in these columns and measures, really. So what you can do is click on the dots and then you can just hide it there. And if you want to see any of the hidden fields, you just right click on here, view hidden, and you'll see it's grayed out to say it's hidden and you can unhide it again just using this option here. Okay, so that, fairly quick, I'll go and hide that again. Um, we would probably make this a bit darker. I've probably messed up the the, um, the underlying um, the underlying format here, which um, I'll, I would fix. So, if you like this video, give it a wee, a wee thumbs up. And if you want to see and keep up to date with my latest videos, then please subscribe. It'll really help me out. And I look forward to talking to you in the next video.